guys this video is created to show you how to activate and use this uh, HA background color plugin and uh, you can see the plugin is installed but not activated yet so this is HA background color customizer and this is my HA font color customizer also it is activated but this plugin uh, background color is not activated so I am going to activate it and uh, then you have to go to the appearance and customize customize section and here you can see HA background colors tab this is and the other plugin by me it is a font the font color customizer you can also install it if you want it to uh, match the colors uh, according to your background colors so this one is a background color customizer and the plugin and you can see this is a panel of the customizer and uh, uh, all these colors are right now um, by default in white color and these are not active yet so you first you have to click on activation the background color of the theme was uh, white uh, sorry grayish light grayish so you can see this is right now uh, this has changed to white now and uh, if you want to change it change the color to a darker one just select the color and it is changed now and the header bg as i have mentioned it will not get uh, change the color uh, until you don't get you click this yes activate activate it so this is activated it now and if you want to change the colors of the on the um of the links uh, other things uh, you can go and change it with my HA font color customizer you have to uh, install it separately um, this uh, but soon I will uh, create another plugin with uh, the set of all these plugins so maybe in, you can use it in future but right now these are separate plugins so this is the footer first click on yes this is the footer and it is white no, you can change it to any other color to show you just any color. So this is this the color is changed, and uh, this is the main menu. Sometimes the menu um, menu tag uh, get uh, the all width of the line. But sometimes it is in line, so if it is uh, it has occupied all line, it will good, look good. Otherwise, you don't need to activate it. So this is right now the nave is on uh, a separate line, so um, of width full width, hundred percent width. So it is looking okay. You can change it to any other color. It is just to show you. Again, you need to change the color separately. Okay, main nav link hover. So you can see this is right now white. Uh, it was not by default white because it was not yes. I have uh, clicked it in yes. So you can see it is uh, right now deactivated and uh, the color, there is no color with the theme, default theme. So you need to change it to anything you want. You can change the colors by selecting any color from the panel now the, this color is changing you can set the padding separately so this is drop down and you will see that it is not changing the color yet because you have to select it separately now you can see the color is changing to black and the, the default ally because the parent ally uh, list at tab color was uh, hovering to this color so it is hovering uh, in this way if you uh, want to change the hover color of the child tab also so you need to change this drop down hover to anything you want and now you can see it is not active yet so you have to click on activation so it is not 
to have to check it okay so you can see this is background uh, this is button color button bg but there should be a button it is not a button i have checked it already so guys if you want to deactivate uh, it uh, you don't have to worry to get worried that your default theme colors are ge getting changed these are not getting changed uh, you can um, anytime you can deactivate them and de deactivating uh, them here and for a short period of time or temporary deactivation of the plugin will also keep these safe in the panel the settings will be saved in the panel you just need to uh, go and activate it uh, activate them anytime and uh, this will work, uh, start working again so you just need to go and uh, deactivate them if you don't want them and if you want your theme color default theme colors back you just need to uh, click on no on each of them separately if you just want to deactivate the plugin, if you don't want any of the colors from there, want to deactivate the panel, just go and deactivate the plugin. If you want to, but the uh, the settings will be saved here, but will not work because of the deactivation. So if you want to just uh, deactivate one setting, you, you can say deactivate activate it from here separately. And uh, it's really easy to use. And if you want to change the color, of the font after changing the background color you can install my ha uh, ha font color plugin also font color customizer here is the font color customizer by hiram sari this is all thank you